Aquarius. How are you today? You know, just a little bit. I like Aquarius because I'm an Aquarius moon. I think that's why we get along so well. That's the only sign that has actually ever understood anything that's come out of my mouth. But they are also crazy little things too. Like for, for some reason, the females are all short and they like to fight. I don't understand it. But it's adorable when they do. Like, oh, but some of them are just nuts too. So it's just kind of like, yeah, maybe y'all are aliens. Just a little bit. Anyway, we're doing your mid-May to June reading of this current year. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Remember, this is a card game, so don't take it so seriously. Uh, if you want a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. I don't charge, but I do take, I do take donations and tips in my PayPal, which is also in the description box. So enjoy all that, and we will get started right now. First up, Queen of Wands, Reverse, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. She's a bitchin'. She's losing her patience. She's tapping her little witchy shoes. She's just like, I want what I want, and I want it now. And she's willing to go out there and cut a bitch to get it. Ah, what you're one wishing for is the Ace of Pentacles. Very... Um, it, it, it's like a, it's like an onion that's rotted in the ground. It didn't grow anything. It, now it's just like slime in the dirt. Shit offer. Uh, Queen of Cups right here in your vision rejections. Could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. Right? Oh, Prince of Cups in this situation. Someone writing in to offer their love or extend their hand for that cup. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Realizing it was kind of dumb to plant a flower in the desert and expect anything to happen. In your challenges and obstacles that is now coming against you. Which is right underneath this really rotten offer. Yes. And the catalyst as well as the final result. What comes around goes around. How this began as well as how it will end. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. She is solitary. She is by herself. She manifests by herself. She doesn't have anybody around her. She's just doing things on her own. You know, she might be feeling a little bit stuck in this. That is the beginning theme. Wheel of Fortune. Reverse. Two seconds. I didn't grab my water. Alrighty. I'm good now. No! Queen! wands i feel like you're wanting something that you already know that you, you there, there's no point in you investing your emotions into with the queen of cups over here and your fears and rejections just, i'm just putting that out there i feel like you know but you don't care like emotionally you're aware but over here it's like you don't care you just still want it even though you know either Either or, and what you want and what you don't want is, um, <laughs> Queen of Wands, man. Let's just continue before. I'm just, it just from the look at this, it's just like, it's kind of like you're asking for something you already know. It's, I think it's kind of like, um, what it'll kind of look like with Gemini. Like, sorry, someone, like, messaged something and threw me off. Um, it's kind of like with Geminis, they'll wait for you to come around. Because they know you will. It's their magic power. <laughs> um, hesitating when it comes to starting something new. Um. It's like you're demanding somebody um, do something for you, possibly. If not you, Aquarius, and the person you're dealing with. It's like them saying, like, either do this or I'm gone, but they're really not going anywhere. They're like, 
Like, they, they say it so much that, like, people stop believing them. That kind of thing. <clears throat> like, when you're, you're dealing with a kid, like, you don't give empty threats. If you say that you're going to bust that ass, you better make sure you're busting their ass in a way that is acceptable and reasonable. Like, not at all and just taking away their chargers for stuff. Because that seems way more simpler. You know, torture them psychologically. <laughs> it leaves little scars. Um, the Wheel of Fortune turned here. It's a heartbreak and someone doesn't feel like... Um, I'm not going to say as successful, but more like as... Um, in tune with their creative side as they would like. And... They kind of wanted to take off just to have a good time. They get, like, some things done. As well as, like, have a good time. Like, they took it off quick, too, with the Knight of Wands. Because he's even got wings to make sure he gets there faster. Like turbos or something. Um, but there's been a lot of arguments. Possibly a lot of pettiness. That sounds like my car. Of course, you be coming up. While I'm doing this. Um, there's been a lot of fighting. A lot of pettiness. And it seems like. Someone's just. Going out of their way. To be very snippy. Very mouthy. Just to start the arguments. You know like. On the lookout for information. On the lookout for something to start an argument with, right? Just so they can assert I can leave at any time, but they're not going anywhere. They're looking this way still. Like, still wanting to go in the future with this. Let's see. Prince of Cups. He's got his hand out extended the cup. Could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Hmm. He shall be coming in shortly. Oh, these do not want to shuffle out. It's kind of weird. They didn't do too bad for Capricorn. There we go. Let's take these. Okay. There's some decision that this person has to make. This Knight, this Prince of Cups. Which would traditionally be Knight of Cups. Um, he is reaching his hand out like he's trying to receive this cup. But it's like he really doesn't know what to do because either head he cuts off, it's attached to the other person. And after that person dies, the second person is going to die of blood poisoning. Because, you know, they share the same body. And one of them's not pumping the oxygen to the blood to keep the organs alive. So essentially it all dies. And then the other person dies from blood poisoning because the blood that's circulating into them now is coagulated. So either way, they're both going to die. They just don't know which one's going to live the longest to tell the story. Or if it even needs to be done. Ooh. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Two seconds. Okay, so my husband came home for a second. Oh, la 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 la. Second. Sorry about that. Anyway, this offer. <clears throat> right? Ace of Pentacles reverse. So far, we don't have any more aces for the spread. Right? But this ace of pentacle is like a rotten onion. It, it like didn't sprout right. It's kind of gross looking. And it's like a reason to stay. It's a shitty offer. This offer is bad. This offer isn't nutritious or, or even found on a nutritional guide. In fact, they would probably say don't eat it because it's probably not going to turn out very well. Regardless, um... This is not a good offer, because it's like, the roots aren't good. The roots got sogged out. The roots got drowned. It's nothing. Like, 
you know, looking for a reason to stay, but it's like, why? You're, it, it like, it's kind of like whoever this person is is fooling themselves. You know, they're just like, if you don't do this, I'll leave. And it's just like, they don't understand, like, they're the only ones who want to stick around a little bit, I feel like. We got this Seven of Pentacles reverse where it's like, um... Someone literally does not understand that it is kind of fruitless to plant a flower in the desert. Like, this way there might be a chance. This way is like, nah, -uh. this actually turns out to be a horrible idea that's spent, that, that is a waste of money, a waste of investment, a waste of just everybody's time. Which is probably why this is the beginning theme. Ten of... Wait, wait. well it is a ten, but it's the Wheel of Fortune. Sorry, I just got done talking about this one, so I'm like all excited and wired and stuff. Like a puppy seeing its owner again. <laughs> um, it, I mean, it talks about stagnation and stuff, and it's like, it feels like whoever this person is, Aquarius, is very much stuck on a, a scenario that I think they really should be letting go of. Because um, it feels like they're just left to be the backbone of everybody else's playtime. With no appreciation whatsoever. Like, everyone just makes all their suffering out to be part of the game. Ten of Pentacles reversed. It's not a good home environment, I feel like. Now, this Queen of Cups right here is a fears and rejections. And I really do feel like it's just somebody... Not really wanting to see the situation for what it truly is. I mean, like, she's wearing her glasses. She's got her feelings in check. It's like they're avoiding the tower with this. They don't really want to, um... See things for what they truly are. <clears throat> and then we got the Queen of Pentacles as the catalyst as well as the final results in all of this. And the Queen of Cups reverse. Like, this bitch can manifest shit on her own, but instead she the, she's just going around placating for everybody else just to get what she wants. Like, playing to their, um... biases and what they like in order to get this environment. But the environment going against her is just, ugh. Definitely could be a mother figure. Could also be dealing with someone who just won't come out with the truth for any reason whatsoever, which is kind of like, that's stupid, but... Okay. Bro and or ma'am. The ending theme. Past memories. Or being stuck in the past, essentially. Six of Cups. Someone's too into their past to let anything move forward. Someone's kind of too focused on what was good about it to realize that there's nothing left here to gather or learn from or grow with. It's kind of like if you keep repeating this, it's just going to not go anywhere with it, kind of. Ooh, that felt nice. I'm going to eat some applesauce. Sounds good. Okay. So, okay, is that all? Yeah, it is. Okay, so first card is someone needs to come out with their secret. Someone needs to come out with what it is they're trying to say. Or at least that's how I feel like someone's going to feel like someone's going to take the action with the Queen of Wands. But it's going to be an expression of emotions about not knowing really what to do about like getting what it is she wants. And I feel like it's with dealing with this reason to stick around. Like someone is a... Uh, just they feel under pressure by their emotions and all this honestly like it's not even like they want a reason to stay for um like their emotions are drawing them to stick around for this petty offer for a reason to stick around but it's really not based on emotion. I mean, their emotions are attached to it, but not really. Whereas down here, like, what they should be attached to, they have nothing at all. It's all about almost finances or some shit. Like, this person, um... I mean, like, they could be in tune with their emotions, but it's like they're ignoring them with the tower. 
Like, very much so. Like, it doesn't even matter to them. This person's very much into just... I don't know. It's like they're too worried about, like, what they're going to get out of this. I guess. Hmm. Well, hot diggity damn. Aquarius, this was your reading. Thank you for watching through it, and I hope this helps some of y'all out. But I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.